Please welcome Solver Hila Azidzoy, Managing Director, Global Health Initiatives, Ada Health. I think everyone in this room would agree when saying that health is one of the most important things in life. It is one of the fundamental prerequisites that allows you to achieve your full potential. It seems so evident. We all know that access to healthcare is simply put a human right. With my parents actually coming from Afghanistan, one of the least developed countries in the world, my roots keep reminding me that we are far from living in a world that has equitable access to healthcare for everyone. In fact, there is currently over 4 billion people that lack access to essential primary healthcare services due to a massive global shortage of over 8 million doctors all around the world. The ones that do manage to have somehow access to healthcare are neither, are neither experiencing efficiency nor can be quality guaranteed, with usually countless of hours spent in the waiting room to then end up with an average consultation time of 48 seconds on average actually in Bangladesh. Under these extreme, extreme circumstances, uh, misdiagnosis can easily happen when there is no time to gather patient history thoroughly. At ADA, we have made it our mission to bring the future of personalized healthcare to everyone by using the power of artificial intelligence and mobile technology. We have spent the last seven years building with a team of AI experts, doctors, and engineers a sophisticated medical reasoning engine that allows to, come to link thousands of symptoms with over thousands of conditions, resulting in the ability to compute complex symptom constellations within minutes. Here you can see the Ada app. So it starts with you entering your presenting complaint, and then she asks more and more questions until she has collected enough evidence to provide you with guidance on the possible condition and what next step to take. We do this through the Ada app, but also through our clinical decision support systems, which we have for health professionals. So where are we today? Since the launch of the Ada uh, app, we have been quite overwhelmed with the positive feedback from our users all around the world. To date, ADA has over 6 million users all around the world that have completed over 10 million health assessments and is rated as the best medical app in over 130 countries. A recently published peer-reviewed paper also found that ADA's top suggestions on rare diseases is confirmed in over 80% uh, of all cases. In addition to that, in over 56% of all cases, ADA is able to detect the right condition earlier. In low and lower middle income countries, we actually see that there is one third of our user base, and we've learned a lot from that. So there is, um, there is uh, a lot what we see that people are not just using ADA for themselves, but also actually for others. So there is one review, for instance, from a user in Kenya that said, uh, I work in a local drug shop dispensary. People come in every day and ask me for medical advice, and I don't know what to do. So I started using ADA, and which brought us also further along the idea to say, OK, let's explore Floor, um, equipping the front lines of health, particularly with our solution, so we can overcome the global shortage of healthcare workers. We're actually very excited to announce soon our partnership with a lo local consortium in Tanzania, um, where we will test and pilot a version of ADA among drug shop dispensers. In addition, we have worked very uh, um, a lot over the past year on uh, translating ADA into Swahili for the first time with the Muhimbili University, supported by Fondacion Botna, and we've added 160 locally relevant disease models into our system. So we've made progress, but nonetheless, there's still a lot ahead of us. To be truly able to unfold this type of impact, it takes a lot of further building local partnerships to be able to uh, find completely new ways of delivering primary health care. We know that a standalone app cannot solve one of the biggest problems and challenges in health by itself, but combined with very strong local partnerships, AI can become a truly powerful tool to create a more equitable world for everyone. Thank you very much.